Hello friends, in this video tutorial we study about the servlet context interface. An object of the servlet context is created by the web container at the time of deployment of the project. This object can be used to get the configuration information from the web.xml file. The object of the servlet context is created per web application only once. The main advantage of using the servlet context is that if you want to share the information to many servlet, it is better practice to use the servlet context. Okay, let's see with an practical click on file, new and then dynamic web project A dialog box will be displayed. Here you give the simply your project name. My project name is uh, servlet context demo and then click on the next next check the generate web.xml uh, xml deployment descriptor and then click on the finish your project is displayed under the project explorer explore the java resource and then right click on the src folder and click on the new and take a servlet Give the name of your servlet is first servlet. We are using the super class as a HTTP servlet and then click on the next. Here you simply see the your servlet name is first servlet and the URL is first servlet. If you want to change the name of the URL is click on the edit and uh, give the URL as a servlet one. Servlet one. Click on OK and then next here you simply see the various methods simply select check the do post and do get method and then click on the finish your servlet is created your servlet name is for servlet extend from the http servlet and scroll down do get and do both post method is here displayed i want to get the information configuration information into my do get method simply okay simply come into the web content and then explore the web inf and then click on the web.xml file here you simply see the various welcome files you simply delete the all files except index.html and then click on the enter enter press and take a servlet servlet tag for giving the details of the servlet servlet name is first servlet and uh, servlet class I am giving the first servlet here in this tag servlet name you provide any name but the name of the servlet class is must write the name of your servlet class my servlet class is first servlet my servlet class name is first servlet okay simply come and i take another servlet and uh, give the name of my servlet name is second servlet and uh, servlet class is second servlet I am using two servlet in this project to get the configuration information into these two servlet that share the configuration information into two servlet first servlet and second servlet ok simply press the enter and I am here using a context param tag the context param tag is provide the information is provide the or define the parameter name and parameter value of the servlet context ok simply I give the parameter name as a driver and uh, parameter value is uh, com dot mysql dot jdpc dot driver 
this is the driver value and uh, this is very useful into the database connectivity with the MySQL and Java ok simply come into the src folder right click and again take a new servlet give the name of your servlet is second servlet second servlet and super class is http servlet and then click on the next and the name of your servlet is second servlet and the url is second servlet edit the name of your url i simply give the name of my url is servlet2 and click on ok and then next and then check the do post method and do get method same as previous then click on the finish my second servlet is created here do get methods and uh, do post method is displayed here i want to get the information from the configuration file in into the do get method ok simply i come into the first servlet and uh, under the do get method I simply declare an object print writer object out equal response dot get writer there is an error because we need to import a java.io package simply I import the java.io package because the print writer class is inside the java.io package input output ok the print writer here basically using uh, declaring an object out because I want to print the some information ok simply I write here the servlet context servlet context and uh, context object equal get servlet context method simply this is the get servlet context method that return the servlet context object and the servlet context object I declare is the context ok simply I declare a variable string driver equal context dot get init param and, and uh, driver in the, into the double quote as a parameter driver and then semicolon. The servlet context has a method get init parameter and this parameter get the parameter name and the parameter name of the context servlet is driver and uh, this parameter return the value of driver into the driver variable. The value of the driver uh, get init parameter is the com.mysql.jdvc.driver and simply out dot print and then in write the here driver. It's print the simply driver value. I copy all the information control C and uh, paste into the second servlet means we are using here the first servlet and second servlet from the web dot configuration file we are getting in two servlets the information com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver ok simply right click on the web content and take a file html file index.html index.html and click on next in the body part simply I am using a pre tag pre formatted tag and then href equal dot slash servlet servlet servlet1 and uh, first servlet and then copy 
and then paste here and type here second servlet second servlet and the URL is second servlet then control s there is a problem href href control s okay simply here I am using the two anchor tags for to link the first servlet and second servlet and then save the file control s and then right click on the servlet context demo run as run on server and then click on ok yes and then click on next then finish ok index.html file will be displayed in the browser first servlet and the second servlet when you click on the first servlet com.mysql.jdbc.driver parameter value is displayed here and then back to index.html and then click on the second servlet com.mysql.jdbc.driver it displayed on the second servlet means in this video tutorial we see the configuration web.xml file we get the connectivity any driver value com.mysql.jdbc.driver to first servlet and second servlet so simply I can say that the information shared to first servlet and second servlet using the servlet context interface. Thank you friends.